Hello everyone, thank you for joining us at today's council meeting. So today I've got a couple of pre-release packs as well as a whole bunch of other packs that I got from my LGS. So I had played in a league prior to the pandemic and they were giving out prizes for it finally with everything going on. So I have some of those prizes as well as some very special surprise openings. So we'll start first with these pre-release kits. These seem to open really easily, and so I don't know about buying these on, like, Amazon or anything, because it's very flimsy, no other wrapping, so I would be very hesitant to trust that. So the dice for the pre-release kits are so cool. Okay. So we have a Bright Climb Pathway. And a Grim Pl Climb Pathway. We got a Pathway Land as our promo, which is really sweet. Okay, well, let's pull out so we have all the packs together for the opening. Like you can see, it's super flimsy. So, moral of the story, buy from your local game store rather than from an online retailer. So I've got a, a Zara. San the Trickster. Ooh, that's that merfolk rogue that he can do fun stuff with. Okay, so we've got six packs here. Now the, the pre-release kits, they came with additional boosters, but these are a different style, so I'll set them over here. And I've got two Throne of Eldraine, some promo packs, and then a very special surprise. So we'll save this for the last part. So we'll go ahead and open up and see what's in these packs. I'll go through the commons and uncommon the commons pretty quickly. Okay, so we've got a moss pit skeleton, a relic amulet, a vastwood fortification, and a wayward guide beast. With a relic amulet foil. So let's see. Okay, so we've got a Fireblade Charger, Journey to Oblivion, Umbra Wizard, and Orha, the Skyclave Hero Fence. Again with token and land. So how's everybody going to be doing the pre-release? Well. By the time you watch this, I'll have already played in a pre-release on Discord for my LGS. So we've got a Grotog Nightrunner, a Kite Cell Cleric, Kazool's Frenzy, an Inscription of Insight. Hmm, very cool. And that's going to be the Saturday of pre-release. Might have a, a video showing the deck off. Might not, depends on how much time I have. But I'm also going to be playing in a sealed league through our sponsor, Geekified. Geekified.us, you can join their server and find out information there. So we've got a Fireblade Charger, Journey to Oblivion, Palaka Predation, which is one of those flip lands, and a Nighthawk Scavenger. So apparently this is a really, 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 really good card. So I'm glad to see it. And an Expedition Healer. So let's see what else we can find. Okay, so we got a Mercer Sproutlink, Skyclave Plunder, Kabira Takedown, and a Spook Scorm. Turn it a frame. Ooh. This is so great. So whenever a land enters the battlefield under my control, uh, create a 1-1 one, one green insect creature token. If you control six or more lands, create a token that's a copy of Scoot Scorm instead. So, yeah, lots of insects. You're going to be making lots of insects with that thing. That could be fun. I need to put that into my Zero deck, because... 
That would actually be fun. That one is an insect one, and I'll have a Jankmander article soon on that. Well, soon, sometime in the near future. So we've got a Spring Mantle Cleric, Roost of Drakes, Kalani Ambush, and a Squad Commander. Not too bad. Ooh, and an Oren Reef Ooze Foil Rare to end out that pre-release pack. So we've got the next one here. Let's see how well it does. Is it as spicy as the first is the real question. Okay, so we've got Roiling Regrowth, Merfolk Falconeer, Bastwood Fortification, and a Coral Helm Chronicler with a Shatter Skull Minotaur foil. I'm kind of excited for this set, but I'm a little bit sad that I'm not going to be able to play in person. So let's go through these real quick. But thankfully we have the technology now to play with Discord and all that. So it's not all terrible. So we got a Skyclave Shadowcat, Allied Assault, Skyclave Cleric, ooh, Leyline Tyrant. Yeah, you don't lose unspent red mana as steps and phases ends. Braids of Fire. Yeah. I'm working on a Dragon Commander deck with the Ur Dragon, and you better believe this is going to get slotted into that deck. Because... Oh, man. Okay. A couple more packs left here. So, Blood Chief's Thirst, Shatter Skull Minotaur, Tangled Flora Helm, and Roiling Vortex. Hmm. That's pretty cool. So at the beginning of each player's upkeep, it deals one damage to them, and whenever a player casts a spell, if no mana was spent to cast that spell, Roiling Vortex deals five damage to that player. And you pay red, and opponents cannot gain life that turn. <laughs> well now, if I were playing this particular one, I would be having a blast with red. Okay, Spoils of Adventure, Skyclave Shadowcat again, Allied Assault again, and the Pathway Land that we already pulled. Ooh, with a Seagate Banneret foil. So two more packs for that kit, then I'll start opening some of these other packs to see what I get. So Skyclave Pickaxe, Windrider Wizard, Saloon Division, and a non-foil Orin Reef Ooze, and Archon of Ameria. Ooh, that's a good one. So flying, 2-3. Each player can't cast more than one spell each turn. In non-basic lands, your opponent's control enter the battlefield tapped. Oh, this is gross for Commander. Oh my goodness. Yeah, uh, that's definitely a thing that is happening. <laughs> last pack so maybe i would be playing the the boros with this guild kit and doing borosy things so brushfire elemental relic amulet kalani ambush and, oh my goodness yes i would be playing boros with this kit oh i am so sad i didn't open this for the sealed league but my pool's not terrible. You'll see it in another video. But this is that full art. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, so the bonus packs. These are with the, the pull tabs. And so we got Forest, Zeldar Retreat, and Squad Commander. I don't want to cover up Nahiri. Nahiri... Even though in the story, Nahiri's kind of not a good person. That's definitely a really cool card. So, Squad Commander. Then we have Sahiri Shelter, Roiling Regrowth, and Acquisition Expert. Not too bad. I am kind of excited. Ooh, gotta be more careful there. So, Scourge of the Sky Slaves. That is... wow. 
Wow. Okay, so that is definitely a spell you want to kick. So kicker of four and a black. When you cast a spell, if it was kicked, each player loses half their life rounded up. Scourge of the Skyclave's power and toughness are equal to 20 minus the highest life total among players. So if it's kicked, it's coming in as a 10-10. Wow. Really good. Umara Wizard, Umara Mystic, and a Skyclave Pickaxe. I'm digging this set. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I'm also excited to see Expeditions be back. And... And another Nighthawk Scavenger. Really fun card. So Cleric, Base Camp, and Shadow Cat. Although it's not the reprint a lot of people wanted to see for the fetches. Um, and you do have to buy the box. It'll be interesting. So I have a couple of draft boosters, some set boosters, and I will have a collector's box that I'll open. Oh, Throne of McKindy. That's a good one. And another ooze. So oozy, so tangled. Lorhedron, Vastwood Surge, and Lil Mage is familiar. I haven't really, like I said earlier, I haven't paid attention to the spoilers, so this is this is kind of a new thing. Okay, so we got a turn timber symbiosis. And it's gonna have yeah, it's going to be the pay three life or it enters tapped. <sighs> Honestly, I don't think this side is that great. Maybe a turn one you could play it out and not pay three life. But if it tapped for more than one mana, I think this would be a lot more playable. So we got Low Mage's Domination, Kite's Hell Cleric, and Thundering Rebuke. I don't know. And... Our wonderful Nahiri there. So, good stuff in there. Okay, Cleric of Chill Depths. Inscription of Ruin. Okay, that's cool. That's the Ruin cycle. So, Song Mad Treachery, Skyclave Geopede, and Lithoform Blight. Not too terrible. Okay, so... Now we're on to Throne of Eldraine. So I just love Throne of Eldraine. It's a great set to draft. Not going to go through ooh, Valmire. And a Fabled Passage from Throne of Eldraine. This was such a great set to draft, and the limited environment for it was so fun. You could play with commons and uncommons and still do really well. Probable Alliance. Oh. R.I.P. Cauldron Familiar, and Castle Lock Lane. So actually pretty good pulls from that one. Okay, let me just do this, because I don't want to spoil the surprise. And I have two promo packs. So I've got a regular promo pack and a foil promo pack as a reward for playing in that league. It was a Theros Sealed leak, and believe me, it was a rough... Theros was a rough set for me. Ooh, right off the bat, Azusa Loft, Sput Seeking, Frantic Inventory, and Dragon Master Outcast. Mm. Speaking of my dragon deck, <laughs> that's going to go in there. So now we've got the foil pack. But man, Theros was rough. I did so, I had such a fun time drafting with. Um, Throne of Eldraine and playing Throne of Eldraine where the spark was fun to draft and play limited in it was fun to play limited in um, core 2020 and then Throne and then Theros Idol of Endurance Heartfighter Immolator and Night Pack Ambusher so not nearly as good but man that set was just bad to me like, I, I had trouble playing in paper. I had trouble playing with Arena. Like, no matter how carefully I shuffled or tried things, like, do I shuffle more? Do I try and do the pile shuffling to try and mix it up? I could not draw lands for the life of me. So, 
it was not a great set to me. Ikoria, I did pretty well. Unfortunately, couldn't really play to play paper. This, I'm kind of excited. So, as a special bonus for stuff that I purchased today, I have two set boosters to open. I'm really excited for these. Uh, hopefully, people are able to get these. It seems it's very difficult to get them. So we've got an art card. We've got island. We've got commons. I got four commons there. So Skyclave Shadowcat, Iridescent Horn Beetle. So an alternative frame, uh, ne Nectar, Kanzu Nectar Pot, and a regular frame Bubble Snare, Skyclave Plunder, Return Timber Symbiosis, and a Hagger Constrictor Foil, and a Core Warrior. So, again, I'm not sure on prices, but that was, that was kind of sad. Okay, so art card for a forest and we got a plains which we got the forest that would have been cool so we've got four common four commons here two uncommon so merfolk wind robder thundering rebuke a mckinney stampede deadly alliance then we have rock slide sorcerer a kazandu mammoth and nahiri's binding and then a copy so it was okay. We didn't get one of the cards off of the list or anything that I would be considering too horribly spicy out of those. But, you know, it was fun to open up to ahead of next week when they officially, officially release. So, well, hopefully you all have had a good time watching this and enjoyed watching Nahiri, Heir of the Ancients, get pulled. I sure enjoyed that. Um, if you've liked our video go ahead and, and like the video go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you'll be up to date on when we're releasing videos you can also join us in our discord uh, thank you again to our sponsor geekified make sure you support your lgs during this time sure you can buy cards at amazon or walmart or target but they're going to look at you kind of weird if you tr if you sit there in the middle of the store and try and start playing with someone. So support your LGS. I know it's difficult right now for everybody to be able to play. But your, your LGS might be organizing Discord events. Um, if they aren't, you can join Geekified. Geekified is running sealed events as well as other things coming up. So be on the lookout for that and just have fun playing with friends. That's all I can say. So thank you all for coming to today's council meeting and the meeting is now adjourned.